foot drop perineal nerve injury. What is a foot drop? The patient cannot raise the front part of the foot because of weakness or paralysis of the tibialis anterior muscle that lifts the foot up. So when the patient is walking, he will have a stabbage gait. A stabbage gait means the patient slaps his foot down on the floor because the foot drops and his gait will show that he's raising the thigh up in an exaggerated fashion. The foot drop usually result from an injury to the perineal nerve which is susceptible to injury at any point of its course. The perineal nerve comes from the lumbosacral plexus, it comes from L4, L5, S1, and S2, and the join with the tibia nerve to make the sciatic nerve. The common perineal nerve is the one that gets injured, and we get the foot drop because of its injury. The sciatic nerve starts as a nerve root in the lower back, and runs through the buttock and the lower limb. In the back of the thigh and just above the knee, the sciatic nerve divides into common perineal nerve and tibial nerve. The common perineal nerve travels anteriorly around the fibular neck and divides into the superficial and deep perineal nerves. The deep perineal nerve gives innervation to the anterior compartment muscles, specifically the tibialis anterior muscle of the lower leg, which is responsible for dorsiflexion of the ankle. So what is causing foot drop? L4, L5 disc herniation can cause compression on L5 nerve root, which can cause foot drop. Lumbosacral plexus injury occurs from a pelvic fracture. Hip dislocation can injure the sciatic nerve and the common perineal division of the sciatic nerve is the one that's usually affected and the patient will get a foot drop. Knee dislocation, it's always important to check for a nerve injury and arterial injury around the knee. Established compartment syndrome. Foot drop is a late finding. When a foot drop presents itself, there will be irreversible damage to the muscles and to the nerves because fasciotomy was not performed in a timely fashion. Fasciotomy should be done within 46 hours, otherwise, the patient will have necrosis of the muscles because of tissue ischemia from affecting the microcirculation. This is a patient number one with a foot drop. You can see the patient left foot is dropped. The patient is unable to dorsiflex the foot. This is a patient with a foot drop. The patient left foot is dropped. The patient is unable to dorsiflex the foot. Treatment. If there is a disc herniation impinging on the nerve root, causing foot drop, then the disc should be treated or removed. When we suspect a sciatic nerve injury and a foot drop, we usually obtain an EMG and nervous studies for the patient. EMG is obtained after three weeks and we look for early large polyphasic waves. It's a good thing. Recovery from nerve injury may take up to 12 months. The big toe is the last one to recover. If recovery is not achieved after a reasonable amount of time, explore the nerve for repair, graft, or tendon transfer. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.